four on three for another three seconds. Then we're gonna have four on four for 42 seconds, 40 seconds now. And we're gonna have a slight advantage for Monroe Woodbury. It'll be their sixth penalty, or excuse me, sixth power play of the night. Crusader zone for now, and now they'll clear the length of the ice, and it's going to be icing against the Crusaders with 4.36 left. we got 11 seconds left of 4 on 4. It's been a shortened power play for Monroe Woodbury. To uh, notice the mention of Ryan Burgess in goal now for Saratoga. I always call him Ryan Burgess, even though I know it's Ryan Bourgeois. Running joke between myself and the goalkeeper. up being won by the Crusaders there and they will flip the length of the ice and it will go over the line and now we're playing power play hockey for the Crusaders for 40 seconds now as the winners brings it over and in the corner goes Saratoga Wormley tries to play it along the boards goes the length of the board and eventually Smith runs it down on the other side for Saratoga. Bounces back and forth to the Crusader there in the form of Ryan Mulligan. Now they'll play it in behind the goal. Picker staff has it, plays it out, and they will clear the zone. Even though it goes right to Wormley. Wormley brings it back in, shot on, but it's a weak one on Zielinski, and he makes the save down in the corner. 3.45 left, and much of the acclaimed, if you will, Saratoga crowd is filing toward the exit. 5-2 left, we're both at full strength once again. With two, or excuse me, three. 25 left to play in this one. Shot stand 32 21 in favor of Monroe Woodbury. In neutral ice, the picker staff plays along the near boards and now they'll bring it in with Pine. Pine has it on the right circle, loses the handle dog down in the corner, eventually taken there by Conchiri. Conchiri plays it out and now Dan Winters will try it back the other way. Winters gets one in the back. And we're going to have the hand go up, but it's only momentarily as we have a delayed offside call, but now Saratoga has it, and they will bring it out along the right side. Over the blue line, and Vickerstaff has it back in his own ice. Killing a little time, and punching it back into the neutral zone. Hits the referee going up the right side, and that will allow Crusaders to hold in the zone. No chance, though, and now going back. Nope, they will pass too far. Bickerstaff's going to bring it in along the right. Into the circle, looking to shoot. No, he's going to try and pass. Does so up the slot. Hits a couple of skates and bounces back near the blue line. Doesn't bounce over, though. Crusaders still have the possession. They get one on Burgess, Bourgeois, and he knocks it back into the corner. And now Saratoga's going to be able to break out along the right side. Coming up that side, eventually getting upended over there was McCall. And he lost the handle, now the Crusaders bring it back. They have it in neutral ice with Tuma. Tuma brings it back in, in the left circle, looking for the hat trick. Can't get it though, and it goes down into the corner. 1.55 left to play. It's been the longest stretch of third period hockey we've seen thus far. Coming down the left side is Patterson. Patterson had it for a second, and he got bounced in the boards. Now he'll get hit again, and Bickerstaff has it in the corner. He plays it up along the glass, trying to get it out. And Wormley will hold in. A little bit of a wrister there from the long corner. And it is knocked away by Zielinski, who was working on a two-goal night tonight. And one of those came in the opening moments of this one. Winters plays it up to Smith along the left side. Shot on and saved by Zielinski. 
And we have 70 seconds, 77 seconds left to go in this one. 5-2 advantage for Monroe Woodbury. Off to the right of Zelensky. Back out to the point. Winters has winds up and takes a rip, but can't get it through everybody. Puck shot up through the air, down to Winters. He gloves it to himself. One minute left to go in this one, and Monroe Woodbury can get the non section win on the road. First loss of the season for Saratoga. They started 2 0 coming into this one. Neutral ice back and forth. Eventually gets back to the defense and has tries to clear it out. They're gonna try the right side with the other winters. Unable to get anything going and finally it'll come back in this time. Shot on Burgess Bourgeois. And it was Beach that had it for Federal Woodbury. 30 seconds left. Almost all done here tonight. Saratoga will hold in their own zone, trying to play it on on the backhand, unable to do so. Shot quasi on goal, and it ends up being deflected towards it. But no penalty called, no danger. Five, four, three, two, and one. And we are done here at Wyville Arena this evening. I'm Ben Myers for TimesUnion.com and the Sidelines Vlog. Final for this evening, five to two, Monroe Woodbury with the non-sectional win over the Saratoga Blue Streaks. We'll see you at the next one. Thanks for joining us this evening.